Hi, I'm Jason Snell. I'm the Editorial Director here at Macworld, and today I'm going to talk about some new features in a new product, iMovie 08. A uh, very com controversial product, actually. iMovie 08 is uh, the latest version in Apple's easy-to-use video editing software. The big difference is that a lot of people love the features in iMovie 06. So Apple decided to throw away iMovie HD and replace it with a new iMovie that would make it very easy to edit videos and share them with your friends. It does that. It's actually really good at that. The problem is that it sort of left everybody who was really committed to the features in iMovie 06 in the dust. Now, this new update, version 7.1, doesn't address any of the issues, really, that, um, that the users have with iMovie 06, like third-party plugins and a timeline that's more traditional, lots of stuff like that. It's not in here. However, it has added features, which not only, I think, gives us hope for the future of this version of iMovie, but it can make using iMovie 08 a lot easier. So I'm going to show you some of the new features today. If you tried it briefly and were frustrated, I encourage you to watch and give it another try. And if you haven't ever tried it before, let me show you how it works in iMovie 08, version 7.1. One of the new features in iMovie 7.1 is multiple selection, which is great if you're adjusting the video of multiple clips at once. So in this example, I'm going to start by making video adjustments on a clip. Then I'm going to right click on a clip and you're going to see the copy command. I'm going to copy the adjustments of the clip. Now I'm going to hold down the command key and click on several of the clips in my timeline and then I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose paste adjustments video and the adjustments I made on the one clip will now be reflected in all the other clips. I need to adjust when this clip starts so I'm actually going to hold down the command and option key and I get this new controller and I can slide it forward and I'm going frame by frame and I can actually watch choose exactly the right moment where I want to start this clip and let go and it'll automatically be cropped. It'll work a second forward or a second back from the stop or end of your clip. Just move your mouse over the beginning or end of the clip, hold down command and option, the new controller appears, and then you just slide backward or forward until you get it exactly where you want it to be. Here's a feature that's returned from iMovie HD. You can actually take any frame of your video and make it a still. You select the frame, right click and choose add still frame to project and it will add that frame as a still. And then you can make that frame any length by clicking on the little clock icon and choosing a duration. This also works for transitions now. So each transition in your iMovie 7.1 project can be whatever length you choose, which was a major problem in version 7 that they fixed. There's a lot more flexibility with audio now. You can use ducking to control the volume of multiple audio tracks so the tracks get quieter in certain clips and then come back up when that clip is done. And you can also control your fade in and fade out of audio during transitions, which is just giving you a little bit more control over your video. So what's next for iMovie? I'm hopeful that this 7.1 update suggests that in the future Apple's going to be adding more features to iMovie 08 in order to get it closer to the feature set that was there in the original iMovie 06. However, iMovie 08, let's not forget, is really good at what Apple intended it for, which is for people like me who have lots of home video laying around that they want to cut together very quickly so that they can share it. iMovie 08 is really good at editing movies fast. And uh, that's why I like it. It's not for everybody. It's certainly not for the people who are really tight into iMovie 06. It doesn't do what iMovie 06 does. Maybe it will someday, but not yet. Anyway, I think it's worthy of you checking it out. And if you haven't updated to version 7.1 yet, give it a shot. Apple Software Update will handle it. And you can get the download automatically, and it'll just convert your version 7 of iMovie 08 to the new 7.1. That's it for now. I'm Jason Snell, the Editorial Director here at Macworld, and we'll see you next time.